Hi, this is Bryce from Plus This, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a type form connection with Plus This. So I'm just going to go into Plus This and pull up that tool to start. And before we actually set this up, I'm going to show you a little bit of the Active Campaign automation and the type form itself, so all the pieces make sense. And I'll have a little example so you can have an idea of how this all plays out when you want to create this. So I'll start by going over to uh, Active Campaign, and so what I want to do is I want to be able to have it so when people finish this survey, there will be a tag that is applied. And for this example, we're a photography business, so we want to put people through a quick little like self-evaluation where they can fill out some questions about what they want to get out of their photography session, and then we can filter people and give different follow-up based on if they're like a wedding photo uh, session or they're looking for like a family photo session or any number of things here. So I've gone ahead and gone into Typeform and I've created my little survey here. We ask a lot of cool questions, but essentially here's some of the segmenting things we want to do. And obviously we can apply tags with plus this on a number of these questions, but I'm just gonna focus on one of these really quickly so you can get an idea of how this works. Um, but you, you're welcome to do a lot of cool, flexible automation with this, too. It lets you store those answers and fields. It lets you apply tags based on which uh, choice they take, all kinds of stuff like this. So we created our uh, survey, and we just want to go ahead and now connect this with Active Campaign so we can trigger that automation when things get put in. So now that I've kind of given some background, let's look at plus this. So I'm going to start by picking my form from Typeform, and it connects with it really easily, so it shows everything there. And then we're going to have a question that collects their email address. And then I'm going to go ahead and start putting in my questions for the uh, different segmenting we want to do. And so this is the main one I want to show for purposes with uh, tracking what people are looking for out of their photography uh, session. And so we're going to tag people who put in a wedding uh, as something that will trigger here an active campaign. So we have a tag in our condition. If they have the weddings tag, then we're going to filter them a certain way. If they don't, they get a different kind of follow-up. All right, so we've got that all set up. Um, we could do this for multiple uh, responses. We could do one for family if we wanted to. We can do this for other questions in here too. So that's, it's really, really flexible, but this is enough to kind of just show you the gist of it. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to have a tag that shows that they have submitted this form. So I have a survey tag here. Um, so they might have finished this one right here. All right, and then the final one is down here. This is more if you just need to have a tag applied to the new contacts only that come through this. So if you're using... A type form for a lead quiz, for example, and you're collecting a lot of new leads and you want to be able to put those people through a cleanup sequence or something you do for all the new leads, this is a good tag for that. Otherwise, I usually just use this one and this one will get applied on new and old people coming through. All right, we'll give it a name, type form demo, and we'll save it. And that is your setup. So it's all going to automatically apply those tags when people finish and apply the tags based on their answers and store any results that you want to store in fields if you want. And that's it. The rest you just do inside of Active Campaign. You set your tag for when they finish that survey and you set your tags for any kind of follow-up you want. And then you can store results in custom fields if you want as well. That's really all there is to it. Hope this is really helpful for you. And we'll see you on the next video.